don't give up. I'm talking about don't give up. So many people on the on the edge of giving up. And now you know we all have a story. And sometimes we get stuck in that same story as Peter, Simon Peter. The story t- takes us to the shore of the Sea of Galilee where there was no wind on that day, no storm, no high waves uh, in, in this story of Peter, but there was empty boats, two empty boats. Can you imagine? Can you see the picture of the shore of the Sea of Galilee with two empty boats? Simon Peter, listen to this, Simon Peter and the other fishermen were separated from the two boats because of a bad experience during the night. You know, they worked hard all night, all through the night they worked and didn't catch anything. And suddenly and unexpectedly, Jesus stepped into the situation. Father, I come now against every spirit of confusion, every attack of the enemy. I bind and break and cut it loose in Jesus' name. So confusion, you will go. So suddenly and unexpectedly, Jesus stepped into their situation. And he turned their situation around. He totally turned it around. You see, Jesus found Peter and the other men busy washing the nets. And I believe they were ready to pack their nets away and saying to themselves, it's done, it's over, it's finished, I'm done with this. This is finished. I've I have such a bad experience about what happened last night. In the darkest hour of my life, it, there was nothing. And the womb of the sea, it held back all the fishes. There was not, not even one fish in the boat. It was a night where nothing or everything went wrong for them and nothing worked out. And they felt, you know what, it is such a hard work. Spending the whole night without sleep on the boat, trying to fish and no fish, nothing. Fishing didn't work. They've tried their best. They've tried all the tricks that they could ever think of, all the tricks and all the methods in the book, and it didn't work. Yes, it was a long night. It was the darkest hour of their lives. And now they arrived at the shore without any fishes. And I believe that people were waiting for them there at the shore because they wanted to buy fish for lunch. And there was nothing. I think they were so upset and so disappointed and that's why they started washing the nets. They separated themselves from the two boats and they started washing the the nets. Decided to pack away everything. It's over, it's done and it's finished. And you know, maybe you are stuck in that same situation today. It was a long dark night of hard work without any results and success for you. You put everything, you deposited everything that you have into that business, into whatever you're busy with in your ministry. You have deposited your time, your money, your energy, your everything, and nothing works out for you. And this moment, at this very moment, you are sick and tired of this. You feel like, I can't go on with this. Let's call it a day. It's over. It's finished. And you know the memory recall of the past is also there to remind you of the bad experiences that you had. And the very bad experiences are forcing you this morning to to look for another job, to making a new way, to open a new shop or a new business or do something new. But this thing, it doesn't work for you. It's finished and it's over. Yes, you know Jesus said to Simon, Now, go out where it is deeper. Listen to this. And let down your nets. Meaning, Simon, get get back into that boat. And that nets that you're busy washing, grab them, take them, and put them in the boat. 
Get, you have to get into the boat. What are you doing outside of the boat? My friend, what are you doing outside of your calling? What are you doing outside of your ministry? You're already washing the nets. You're busy packing up. You said to yourself this morning, it's over, it's done, it's finished. In Afrikaans, we say it's finished and clark. We are finished. We have, we have done what we could and it's over. Go out where it's deeper, Jesus said. You see, the deep waters is a dangerous place. Because if you can't swim, I don't think you will make it in the deep waters if you ended up in the water and not in the boat. But the deep waters, prophetically, it means that Father God or Jesus is sending Peter to a place where he can't do it on his own, where he can't walk. He has to swim. Or if he, if he can't swim, he has to stay right there in the boat. Because it's a dangerous place, meaning, meaning that you need now the help of the Lord. You cannot do this on your own. You see, for all these years, Peter, Simon, Peter and the, and the other men, they tried to do this thing on their own. But they, they came to a standstill where they realized that it is not your strength, Peter. It is not your strength, your power, your wisdom or whatever your knowledge no, you thought so. Come on, let me pull the carpet a little bit and tell you this morning, you are a nothing man. Get rid of your pride, Peter. If you need the Lord this morning, you cannot do this on your own. You cannot function on your own. Maybe you're smart, bold and beautiful and very brave, but you are nothing without the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that gives you strength. It is the Holy Spirit that gives you power, authority, knowledge and wisdom. But it is the blood of Jesus that makes you worthy. So come on, Peter. What are you doing? Why are you out of your boat this morning? And I know the Lord is talking to somebody here. What are you busy doing? Why are you washing the nets? You know where you belong. You know that you belong into the boat. You need that nets. You can't pick it away. Come on. It's good that you've washed it, but you have to put it back in the boat and not pack it away because you're going to need that nets. He didn't understand. And he said, and, and he jumped in back into the boat. He was obedient to the voice of the Lord. And he said, cast the net to the other side. Meaning, Peter, for too long you've tried it on your own. I know that fishing is an effort. But your effort doesn't work anymore, Peter. Now you need the supernatural power and faith and effort of the Holy Spirit to help you. Because you see, when you operate according to God's wisdom, God's power, God's authority, you're operating totally differently. It's not in the flesh anymore, but it's in the spirit. So Peter, get rid of your flesh. Get rid of your flesh. You know, I have a word for you, a prophetic word that I received very early in the morning hours. I couldn't sleep last night. Hear the word of the Lord saying, and this is for you, my friend. This is really for you. I'm fully aware of your efforts in doing what you have to do every day. I'm fully aware of your efforts in doing the work of the ministry. I want you to see something. I've given you a doorway right in front of you that has been fully opened into the heavenly dimension and nothing and nobody can close it. I've been watching you, says the Lord, during this time of testing. I've been watching you, says the Lord, during the bad times, during difficult situations. And even when you had little strength, you have treasured my word and you have not contradicted my name. Isn't that the word of God? What I actually want to tell you this morning, the one who sees Yahweh our way is watching you and he knows about every situation in your life this morning, whether you are in the deepest ocean in the darkest night, 
where there's no fishes. You try, you've tried your best, but it didn't work. Today is a day the Lord is saying to you, don't give up. And Peter didn't give up. He said, Lord, if you say so, that I must get into the boat, that I must go into the deep waters, that I have to cast the net on the other side, then I'll do it. According to your word, Lord, I will do it. And that's what I'm telling you this morning. Say, Lord, according to your word, it is written. I will do it. I will get back into my boat and I will get the nets into my boat, my empty boat, and I will go into the deep, deep ocean and I will cast my net on the other side, only by your word, because it is written. On your word, we will do it again, Lord. And today you must say, Lord, apologies for my rebellious attitude. Apologies that I've already packed my stuff. I've packed my tools. I've packed my books. I've packed my office. I've packed everything already, although not physically, but already in your mind. Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, but on your word, and according to your word, and according to the word, the written word, black and white, I stand up today and I jump into my boat and I get my nets ready because I know if you said so, something will happen and you will step into my boat and you will turn around the atmosphere and you will turn around everything that I'm facing today. Everything that is negative will turn positive. And so they did it. And they put and they cast the nets to the other side. And there were so many fish that the nets couldn't handle it. And the boats were full. And what I want to tell you this morning, there's a great harvest coming for you. Just act according to God's word. There's a supernatural great harvest coming your way this morning. And you, God is not, God is going to do something in your life that you cannot believe it. If somebody tell you today about it, because that is what my God will do. Yes, he will carry you through. Don't give up. Push yourself forward today. Push yourself into that boat today. There's a promise for you. There's a harvest for you. There's a new door that will be opened, opened for you today. I can see that huge door is already open. And it is opening wide for you. So that you can enter in and nobody can stop it. Nobody can close it. My friend, you are on the brink of your miracle. You are on the brink of your breakthrough. It is here. Just act according to his word. Just act according to what God said to you this morning. He will never, never turn against his word. He is not a man that he should lie. But it's your obedience, your obedience that matters. It is your obedience that will take you through this this morning. Be obedient to God's word and say, Father, according to your word and on your word, I stand this morning and I'm back in my boat. I'm back in my ministry. I'm back in my situation. And I know that there's a huge harvest coming. It's not over until God says it's over. And don't try your luck on the other side. Allow Jesus to step in your, into your boat and turn, turn your situation around. Today, I bless you in Jesus' name. Reach out to him. Stand on his word. Stand on his promises. Get rid of your pride. You cannot do this without the help of the Holy Spirit. He's the only one that will carry you through. And now, my friend, I greet you in the lovely and beautiful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Enjoy this beautiful Tuesday. 
Choose to laugh, choose to smile, choose to be happy. And never forget, you are absolutely amazing. God bless you until we talk again. Bye.